Um, we're getting just trying to get better every day. I think it's uh, it's been pretty good as far as becoming more physical and also learning the offensive line and how they're blocking things. Um, I think that's the key to it. You know, they start to learn what's happening up front, and the guys up front are doing a great job, you know, being physical and helping us get to the line of scrimmage. I think Rajon had about 135 yards on nine or ten carries, something like that, including a long one. Was it? Was he that good? I mean, it all went well for him on Saturday. He did some good things, but there was also some things to improve on. You know, so we went in the, in, in the uh, film room, in the meeting room, and talked about those things. So I think he took it to heart, and this week in practice, he's been doing a pretty good job. Is that encouraging that he that he doesn't seem satisfied with the scrimmage like that, that he comes back out and gets to work? It is. You know, and all of our guys had success running the ball. And, um, you know, that's the thing. We, we're trying to be individualizing what we do as far as telling them, hey, these are the things that you need to work on. And the guys have come out every day and given the effort. That's the thing that I'm most excited about, the effort to, to continue to improve. Key Watson had minus one yard on his other five carries other than his touchdown. Just how did he look on those other five carries? Is that just bad blocking? He's a or? freshman. He did some good things. He did some really good things, the long run. And then he had some things that he needs to work on. You know, and um, he's starting to understand the offense. And I think this week has been a lot better for him. I think that run was good for him as far as confidence to know he can do it. So now he's just continuing to, to become more physical and understand the technique of running the ball. You know, it's, it's a whole lot different than running against the, the high school defense he ran against. So um, he's starting to learn. Coach, can you just kind of address Devrin and his quest to become a, a complete back instead of kind of a specialist or a third down guy? And, you know, where he seems like he's really focused on that. He really is. And, and, and I'm pushing him to do that, pushing him to be in there for pass protection, pushing him to do all the things that he has to do to be in every down back, because I think it's important for him. Um, he can make plays in open field. He can make plays between the tackles. Um, so just making sure he does everything it takes for a running back to be successful in his offense. Has there been any I mean, from the outside looking in, it looks like Devin and Rajon maybe to separate themselves a little bit. Is that accurate, or is it too early to say that? Uh, but we still got another scrimmage coming up, and I, and I think it is too early. Um, I think Marlon's out here doing a good job. Um, you know, Tom's done a good job out here. So, you know, it's it's, it's, it's a little bit too early. We're going to get through the scrimmage, and as we get closer to the game, we'll, we'll start making decisions. And you referenced the offensive line and the backs need to see what was going on. How, how tough is that for a freshman like like you to come in and know you know know that things can change after you know after the play's called and huddled the, the hole may not be exactly where it was drawn up to be but you got to you know you should be able to key on some things and find it. I think the biggest thing is when you bounce a play, it's, it's defensive linemen that can run right along with you, um, and I think he's starting to understand that. And, and the little holes, the holes are a lot smaller, and um, I think he's starting to understand that hole is there. You got you better take it right away. How they share some characteristics with the differences between Neil and Young, sort of complementing one another. Is that something you really like that you feel like can bring a lot to the offense? I think so. I think both of them are fast. You know, uh, Devin with this, uh, his change of direction and different things, he's exciting in open field. So we're trying to do everything we can to get him in open field. So he's doing a good job of, of understanding the plays, understanding the offense and how he fits in. Progress so far this camp and, uh, and where he's at compared to where you need him to be? Um, just every day, I'm telling him, every day you got to work to get better. And he's done that so far. And um, I think he's been really consistent mentally, understanding the place, working really hard on his technique. And um, he, he's doing a good job so far. How about the progress of Alden Hill? I know he, you know, coming out for the, the mono and everything, didn't get a lot done in the spring like he wanted when he enrolled, but where is he now? He's doing, he's doing a good job. And, um, you know, he's, he's working hard on understanding you know with the reps I get you know I got to really be on top of things as far as when I'm watching things you know when he gets in there he, he's starting to understand the offense a whole lot more. As a former player what would it have meant to you as for like for the team to come away for a week in training like, away from Knoxville? You know the thing I like about it is um, you don't have a lot of time even when we're in Knoxville but with the little time that they have they're spending time together you don't have the outside things kind of kind of factoring into it. Um, guys are spending time together and get, getting a chance to just get to know each other and becoming closer. So it's been good for me. It's been good for, I'm sure it's been good for the players. What's been your kind of funniest moment off the field here? Off the field? Yeah. My funniest moment? Yeah, or something that you're saying, something funny that's happened. Um, I don't know. He kind of caught me on that one. I got to have a second to think about that, but I can't. <laughs> Were you in the karaoke know. or anything? No, I yeah. wasn't. I didn't get a chance to see it. I would have got involved in it, but you know. I didn't want to win it all, so. What would have been your go-to song, you think? Oh, man, I don't know. Something from the Top Gun soundtrack, maybe. I don't know. I, I wouldn't go <laughs> Top Gun with it, you know? Um, look, Tom Smith was down today. What, what's up with him? 
Oh, he's doing all right. Got a little nicked up, and uh, he'll be fine. Uh, but he's been he's been running the ball very physical, and uh, that's the key to him. He's a physical, hard, tough runner. You know, be who you are. And uh, at times, he's 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 learned to have that little wiggle he needs to have in order to break his tackle. Last year, 